Robert Shavers, Carlito Shaves is back. This is gonna be number 24th video and my number four straight razor shave. I don't have any music today because, you know, I felt like uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of testing in terms of that copyright stuff that I've been hearing about. I know my videos because YouTube recognizes the music they are being copyrighted. So I do this for fun and, uh, and your uh, enjoyment but I'm gonna do an experiment to see how it goes so rock stars for today's shave is all sport from Murphy and McNeil this is in the Kodiak base and let me tell you pure and simple money amazing it's kind of it's kind of a unique scent, let me tell you. Why is this? Because even though it's not a tobacco scent, it smells like pipe tobacco. Um, I'm gonna put uh, all the scent notes and the components in the description below, but it's, it's, it's of mid strength. Um, the scent is mid, but in the website, it, it you know, the top notes, include almond, myrrh, gives it like just a little bit of mystery, um, tonka bean, and vanilla. You pair that together and it's just, it's, it's just amazing, let me tell you. For the brush, I'm gonna be using Cajuan Workshop. This is actually redwood, stabilized redwood hybrid with acrylic. And it's called the California Sun. And it's a 24 millimeter silver tip badger knot. And let me tell you, it's so soft. I've been shaving with it since I got it. And it's just a beautiful brush, let me tell you. Heavy, stout, just amazing. Also, main, 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 main star is the King Cutter Razor. This is a gift from Marion the Barbarian. Marion, from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. And you know, I will, I will get you something. This is, I, I'm very appreciative. I will get you something. And I'm just ready, I'm just waiting for it because it comes from St. Petersburg. Uh, so, okay, I'm gonna get you something. And hey, let me prep and uh, get back to you, okay? Um, it's gonna take some time. This razor, by the way, was honed by Max Precker in Las Vegas. So, I'm gonna be trying a Max Precker's Edge. So, give me a second or two and I'll be right back. Let me prep and I'll be right back, okay? See you then. Hey, I'm back. Yeah, let's begin, begin to lather the soap. Let me tell you, just like I told you, scent is quite unique and amazing. First time also using Murphy and McNeil soaps and first time with a Kodiak base and any bare tallow soap whatsoever. I have from Purely Skinful in Canada, Barbaric that I will be using shortly next couple of videos because I have some a lot of soap that I need to try out look at this rich leather very airy so just a top top performer let me tell you no expert when I know my lathers I know I did a test lather with this early in the morning and it's just great so let me start painting the face Very easy to work with, let me tell you. This is my second time using this brush. It's very soft, the silver tip, not that um, Rich uses for his brushes. Just great. I don't know where he sources his knots. I didn't, uh, I didn't see. But uh, it's just great.
been watching lots of videos, but I'm also catching on my TV series, watching Succession from uh, HBO, I'm the second season right now, and it's just crazy, man, it's good, watch it, you can uh, see about the power struggles and everything. This rich family that uh, is just, I'm not going to get into that, but it's just crazy. So, yeah, last video, I used the uh, the J.A. Henkel's Free of the War. And I forgot to mention that Raza, my buddy Raza from Shaving from, uh, with Raza, he also owns one. And I told him, I'm going to let everybody know that you also have the same racer that I have. Uh, too bad that mine was just uh, giving me problems. So, Raza. Man, you got a nice one too. So um, let's let's start doing this. So first pass with the grain, utilizing the max breaker edge. Oh my goodness, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm shaving three days of growth. I haven't shaved this in my last video. I got soap in my hands. I want to cut myself. It's a very sharp blade, let me tell you. Let me tell you that for sure. So, having issues. Oh yeah. Had a pimple right there. So yeah, so how's everything going? Sunday is finally here, you know. A lot going on in the world. Just watching the news and it's just uh, one thing after the other. I don't know. after the other. Man, I'm kind of shaking. You know why? I was uh, doing, I was working out prior to this. And uh, yeah, rookie mistake, I guess, too. So, uh, and I did a little bit of arm workout and uh, I want to cut my sideburns. This is really a sharp edge. Quite different to the shave ready uh, German razor that I uh, did this last. Man, the slickness of this soap is on par. It's just, it's an amazing stuff. Amazing, amazing, amazing soap. And I'm sweating. Ah, oh, man, all the steam from the hot water that I put up in, in the sink. And like nothing, just going down like nothing. So yeah. King Cutter, look at that. Simmons, HDWE company, Germany. use my dominant hand for this man
Yeah, I've been watching videos from DK early in the morning. Um, watched um, videos from Mario and the Barbarian. I've got a little weeper in there. Um, the Chief. Responding to your comments also. Let me use the word. But yeah. Also following up with the discussions in the groups. Also watch a live from uh, from Ray Pope. Nice to have him have a uh, Ray Pope back, active in social media and also the community. One of the pioneers, along with the uh, with Busta, you know Dave, Peter, and uh, all the legends. I think I cut myself. I try to do the, the long strokes. It's really sharp. It's no joke, no kidding. Let me rinse some uh, some uh, soap in my face. Very very sharp edge. Look at this. A little towel with all the whiskers in there. I saw Chief using a sponge. It's a great idea, man, Corey. Probably steal it from you. And the scent just takes you back. The scent was uh, made in honor of, uh, of uh, Bill Murphy McNeil's, his grandpa's, I think it is. Reminds what reminds him of. It's like also from. David from uh, Hub City Soaps, Chats with Grandpa. So I have the same, same similar story. Man, it's so great. So I tried to create a, an airy lather. It's what I hear in the forums and stuff from all of you that do this before me, that um, it's better for um, for the, the the racer to glide. I'm gonna do. You can feel this is a sharp, sharp, sharp blade. Marion, thank you, man. Got this uh, racer to Max Brecker over there in Vegas and use. And he used one of his air stones like uh, Ken J326S. Yeah. 
I want to use some finesse in here because, man. It's one of the trouble spots that I have and I need more practice. You know, behind uh, the nose, underneath the nose. You know, it's just... Uh, Taking it like nothing, like nada. Oh man, okay, money pass. Woo! Makes you sweat. Once you get a hold of it, and the swing of it, I mean. It's just like nobody's business, huh? Also watch videos from Anthony Esposito. Been rocking those uh, A&E soaps. And, and this is a drop of soaps from Peter. Just recently, he's doing all these uh, Kaizen soaps. I'm gonna use this hand. Need to work with my dexterity. However, I'm shaking because I was doing some shoulder work and I was working on, uh, on my delts, my shoulders and uh, yeah, still sore. I kind of uh, injured my back when I was working with, in the kitchen. So I took it easy. It was just working out very lightly. Uh, last couple of days and even not working out at all. Just to give it a rest. And uh, yeah, just got back in. Yeah. Man, I was like doing it with a vengeance. So, and then here I am freaking shaving after that. Wow, San Carlitos, man. No complaints about the soap. No complaints. So I was, this morning, testing out the soap in terms of the density and how much water it could hold. And depending on the load, that I, well, the amount of soap that I put in the bowl. And it just works perfectly. To me, it's not, it's, it's, you know, how you call it, thirsty, thirsty soap. It's not that thirsty, it all depends. How do you, how do you, how do you prepare your, um, your, your brush, badger, and, and I was using a synthetic this morning, a synth and it just lathered up very quick. And uh, I was using this water bottle just to hydrate the, it has the still water. I always use the still water and it was just works wonders. We have a lot of um, hard water here in Puerto Rico in the well, sector that I live. So lathering up some soaps is, is quite, it's quite, a, it's quite a challenge, you know. So I'm gonna do another, uh, uh, I mean, Try this one, but man, what's going on, dude? Uh, like this. Yeah, it's just 
great. Hmm. Very slick, I'm telling you. Pulse shave, feel. It's amazing. You can count the the the, the amount of amazings I have just said. This video. I'm gonna wrap it up very quickly. So, I mean, it has soap all over my hands. Let me tell you, what the heck? See, I don't like to rinse the razor in water. Because, yeah, there is the soap that is left over in my hands. you know play tricks on you Still cutting hairs, and I have, I have my arms is are shaking. I think it's not a good idea to shave after a, a workout, huh? Yeah, so some irritation in there what you call a razor burn yeah this yep so yeah that's it. Let me uh, wash real quick. Uh, not bad at all, I'm telling you. So I'm using a little bit of aftershave from old sport, the old sport aftershave, and uh, yeah, I will call this shave out of here. Yeah, ooh yeah, ooh, 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 ooh. has alcohol in it, but the scent is just like I just described to you. Complex, warming, soothing. It takes you on a memory lane, guys. Oh, Jesus. It's just great. Great, 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 great stuff. Thank you very, very much for sticking out with me. Sticking around, sticking out, sticking around with me. Uh, and also, thank you for um, watching my videos. Um, I'm already reached the 200 subscriber point right now. And I'm very grateful. So, yeah. Number four is done in the books. I have a couple of things to write in my logbook, such as what, I'm, what, I, what do I think about the Max Sprecher Edge, which is fantastic. It's very sharp. I was kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid to say it. I was very cautious <laughs> because also the blade from, from Anthony Esposito, it was pretty sharp too. But since it was a larger blade, to me, it was more comfortable. I think I, ha I, I was more confident with, the, with that razor than this one. But uh, still, great, great stuff. So, hey, thank you for watching, subscribing, and uh, hey, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I, 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 as you know, I read your comments and I reply to you as soon as I can. So, hey, see you in my number 25 video real soon. And I believe I will be using a straight. I'm just hooked. 
So, hey, Carlito Shaves is out of the house.